to have an even more natural natural result. And once we have done this, we can um, uh, re um, engage the patient with. Um, Hello, everyone. Today we are going to start a series of webinars uh, dedicated to workshops, to the way we um, gather data, to uh, the building of workshops, to building uh, models for workshop and mockups, also for doing temps, shells, to doing uh, definitive restorations, to also doing injection uh, splints. And um, with everything said, let's just jump straight into it. So first, we are going to gather data, and we start this by uh, actually scanning our patient. We are going to scan the pre-op situation. Uh, we are going to uh, get clear and very green data for the maxillary and mandibulary uh, arches. Then we are going to evaluate the static occlusion. I advise that you also get your dynamic occlusion right, and uh, then after doing so, we are going to uh, also do photos. To be able to do correct photos of the patient, we are going to use a chair without wheels and uh, place the patient near a wall. We are going to use an empty glove box to uh, set the patient's head against the wall so that uh, we minimize the movement of the set patient. And we are going to use our camera set up on a tripod. This tripod should uh, fix the camera at the same level with the face of the patient and the patient should not move between the retracted photo and the smile photo. Um, the patient should be advised to look directly in the camera so that we can clearly align the photos with uh, the eyes of the patient. Uh, between uh, the two photos, we are going to remove the retractor. First, I usually do the first photo with the retractor and then uh, without moving the patient's head, I'm going to um, pull out the retractor and do a second smile photo. Of course, you can also do this um, without the use of a camera on a tripod, but it's much harder to keep your hands very steady and on the right position. So, advice is to use a camera on a tripod. For even better results, I use my face scanner, and here you can see the face scanner from Punks, uh, to get a retracted and um, smile face scan. The face scans are not only used for smile design, but also they can be used to uh, set up a virtual um, face bow and also to generate planes that we are much uh, needed in uh, further designs. So, um, if you don't have one, I advise you to look into it. There are many options on the market. This is the one I use because it gives a very good precision of the scans, but you can find your own uh, according to your budget. Now let us select the photos of the patient, one retracted as I mentioned before and one with the smile. We are going to align the photos in smile design. We are also going to check that the Alignment is properly done by the AI tools of Medit. We are also going to adjust the smile line of the lip, as you can see here, by adding points and by moving them. And uh, once this is done, we are going to um, see if the lines are generated correctly and play a little bit with them. We are going to uh, parallelize the photo. Uh, here I'm going to cut out the premolar since I only use a smile design from K9 to K9 and I'm going to um, select each tooth and after selecting each tooth I'm going to uh, reposition the lines as needed. We can also use different smile libraries and the four, uh, different shapes of teeth. We can use tools to um, actually mirror the teeth from one side to the other. Also, we can use the libraries of textures provided by Medit, or as you can see here, we can adjust um, the outlines of these teeth in the texture library generator so that we can use the textures from the photo taken by the, uh, from this set patient, as you can see here, to have an even more natural, natural result. And once we have done this, we can um, uh, re um, engage the patient with um, um, less, uh, with a natural photo, as you can see here. The slider generates the before and after picture. 
And once this is done, we are going to calibrate this picture to generate the correct ratio of the teeth. And how I tend to do this, I'm not going to measure in the mouth, but um, just open in MediDesign, open the maxillary scan. I just taken and in the pre-op phase. And with the tools of measurement in MediDesign, I'm going to measure the uh, width of this tooth and enter them uh, in smile design. And now we are going to press the calibrate button and uh, the proportion and ratio of the teeth is going to be shown. Now it's time to save these photos, as you can see here, and they are going to get exported in Medit link. Now I'm going to show you how to convert the photos that we have taken into 3D objects. So we are going to take the uh, before and after photo and duplicate it. And we are going to save two photos out of it, one before and one after, as you can see here, by using, using the photos up in Windows. And with these two photos, we are going to open the Paint app, Paint 3D app from Microsoft Windows. We are going to generate a, rec a square. Uh, a three-dimensional object, and once we have generated it, uh, we are going to use the sticker fu function and place the texture on this object. For the before picture, we are going to save it as a 3D object in the particular format that uh, Paint 3D is using. And now we are going to Ctrl Z it, undo the image, and place the second picture in exactly the same spot on the exactly same object, and this is very important that we actually use the same object and export this as well. And with the help of the 3D Builder app, also provided free of charge by Microsoft, we are going to import these two um, objects that are exactly the same shape and size. And we are going to export them as OBG format. This uh, OBG format is going to be re-imported in Medit uh, link. As you can see here, there is a slight problem with the color of the objects, but for um, smile design use as I do it, I don't need to, um, to have the exact colors, since I only, I'm only interested in the shape of the teeth. And now these uh, are objects are going to be imported in Medit design. And also the maxillary is going, pre-op maxillary is going to be imported there. And with the 3D manipulator, we are going to rotate the photos in the uh, desired position, both of them separately, because uh, the manipulator only allows movement of, of a single object at one time. And once we have done this, we are going to um, check if everything is in place, as you can see now. Okay, now with the help of the manipulator tool, we are going to scale these objects. First, the previous um, photo of the patient, that is the left picture. And with the left picture, we are going to, there was a slight problem here, so always check if they are aligned correctly one to the other. And now we are going to scale this image so that we can fit it on the teeth beneath on the pre-op state. We are going to use it semi in a semi-transparent state so we can also see the, the model beneath. And now we are going to pull on it, rotate it, and uh, actually place it in, in the correct position to be able to work with that model. And after everything is done, we are going to actually scale the second object to the exact same, to the same, not exact, but to the same dimensions of the first one and position it on one on top of the other. Let's see. And now we have both smile design photos aligned to the pre-op model. But as you can see here, we did not check the position uh, in all axes, so we are going to get back to the design and also with the help of the manipulator tool we are going to pull back the photo until it actually just intersects a little bit of the front teeth. Now that he has positioned the first photo we can still manipulate it a little bit and now we are going to get the second one to realign with the first as you can see here. Now that everything is done, we are going to export these objects that because they are now they are three-dimensional objects to Medit Link to be used at a later date.